What did you think of uh, Axl Rose or when Appetite for Destruction came out in 1987? Do you remember where you were? I don't. But it's funny is I don't think I liked it. So okay. Take, <laughs> uh, you know, one of those things. I think at the time I might have been a little more thrashy. Mm. Uh, Anthrax, Testament, Death, uh, Death Angel at that time, right? So if you weren't the classic band already, Dio, Priest, Maiden, it was hard for me to get in on board on something else. Um, but obviously as time went on, it changed and, and uh, uh, loved, the, loved the voice and loved the band. And, and um, I'll tell you, he was fantastic with ACDC. I mean, I thought it was, uh, it was, a, and I knew, I got to be honest, when they said people were like, oh my God, I, why is he going to do that? What's, and I'm like, yeah, but that's a good voice that he has. He has that, that voice where he could sing that stuff. And, uh, but uh, yeah, I remember when that came out, you know what? I probably didn't hate him yet. I, you know what probably <laughs> happened? I probably liked, uh, what was the first one that came out? Whoa, Welcome to the jungle. Um, <laughs> and uh oh i think everybody liked that one right that song came out and everybody's like heck this is awesome you know but then i probably lumped him in at the time with with the hair metal bands mm. it, which they they weren't nothing like that right but mentally you're like oh, i want to hear cotton them off screw <laughs> these guys then you then you just start moving along and you realize yeah you know i mean here i am now if i'm at a gym you know oh my I, i'm you know, I'll listen to it'll be the Beatles, James Taylor, a Guns N' Roses song will come on, Ramstein, you know, it's benediction. God knows what comes on. So it's uh it's pre black keys, you know, all that stuff. 